Okay, Shalom, Shalom. Kwam Yashallah, Koh Loyim, La Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweshai, Bahashim, Racha, Kadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, the great millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say, Thwada to all you Aki Menakwa, that's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweshai to the best of their ability. Jachanan Awaf. Just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson, and it just show you. How destructive Esau Edom is, man. And it's been coming out more and more. The Lord is really lifting up the skirt of Esau Edom, the so-called white man, to show you that they are the wicked. The Lord created a righteous people and he created a wicked people. And the so-called white man, that is the wicked race, man. You can't get around it. Their, their actions show through. You know, their track record prove, is, is proven. Everything that they do, you can, cl you can clearly see that it's destructive. Now, this right here, we know that they've been detonating um, nuclear bombs all over the place. And it's not just them. It's, you know, it's other, um, well, I wouldn't say it's not just America, but it's Edomites of Russia, Germany. You know, all these, uh, uh, your, all these Edomites that have this military might and this military power, they're all over the planet detonating, um, you know, two-ton nuclear bombs and stuff like that. But they'll talk to you as if... You're the problem with um, this carbon footprint, so to speak, or this this um, CO2 emissions, um, this climate change is what they're calling it. But they're the ones that's flying damn jets all day, airplanes all over the skies, dropping chemtrails all damn day long. You see what I'm saying? Nuclear power plants going all day long. They're vehicles when they can easily get rid of things like gas and all this other stuff. They can run a car off water if they really wanted to. They, they, they got electric cars, right? They They... They, they could, you know, use solar energy, but, they, you know, they're just destructive. That's just their nature. And they're greedy. And that's one of the main things about it. Because when they do stuff like this right here, they're in for the money. This is why, I know, this is why they've been at war for damn near 300 years straight. You see, this is the reason why they're over in Ukraine right now. And it's more of this nuclear, um, nuclear bomb type talk, man, that's going on as of, as of late. I seen another one today with North Korea, which I, uh, I'm going to try and find it again. If I find it, I'll do a lesson on it. But this right here says 60 years ago, the U.S. exploded a nuclear bomb in outer space. Now, why the fuck would you do that <laughs> other than being destructive? Well, let's see what their purpose might be. Let's see. It says on July 9th, 1962, crowds gathered on beaches in Honolulu, Hawaii. Who do you think these crowds were? The same people that was that was rushing up and crowding around a tree to see a nigga get hung. It's the so-called white man. Who, who's gathering it? Nobody was saying, hey, you know what? That might fuck something up. <laughs> nope. They was out there with Slurpees, little umbrellas in their drinks, all that. I'm, up, I'm willing to bet you. It says, known as Starfish Prime, the explosion was part of a series of high-altitude nuclear tests known somewhat innocuously as Operation Fishbowl. Five nuclear devices were set off during the test, with starfish being the largest at approximately 1.4 megatons, the equivalent in terms of energy discharge of 1.4 million tons of TNT being detonated all at once. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that? Can you imagine... The, 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 the fall, the, the, the rain hitting that shit and bringing it back to earth all over the years. The wind whipping it around everywhere. Every, every person on the planet should be able to sue the U.S. government for some shit like that, man. <laughs> like they're just destructive. You can't get around it. After the bomb was detonated, some 400 kilometers, 249 miles above Johnson Island in the Pacific Ocean, and auroras were seen across the sky as electronics began to fall to fail. And Kowalin, 14 miles, 1400 miles to the west, a dense overcast extended the length of the eastern horizon to the height of five or eight degrees. One eyewitness of the event said, as recorded in the military report. At 0900 RC, a, a brilliant white flash burned through the, the clouds. Rapidly changing to an expanding green ball of irradiance, extending into the clear sky above the overcast. From its surface, extruded great white fingers, resembling 
Cirrus Stratus clouds, which, round, which rose to 40 degrees above the horizon in sweeping arcs, turning downward towards the poles and disappearing in seconds to be replaced by a spectacular concentric surface like rings moving out from the blast at tremendous initial velocity, finally stopping when the outermost ring was 50 degrees overhead. They did not disappear, but perished in a state of frozen stillness. Look at this, man. This, this is who, who's in control of the planet. Matter of fact, let me, let me just grab a quick script real quick. Let's get a quick scripture real quick. Because this, this proves right here that, that, that the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Because you what you're going to find, it, well, what you're not going to find, you're not going to find no Negroes doing no shit like this. Because we're not in control of anything. <laughs> you see? See, the, the people that are in control and have enough power to pull something like this off, that lets you know who the wicked are. As a matter of fact, let's get it in Job 9 and 24 here. This is just more proof. And the Lord, like I said again, man, he's lifting up their skirts. He's starting to show the world that these people are the damn wicked. Matter of fact, I was just watching some of that that that, that crazy ass January 6th um, closing argument, so to speak. And I'm just sitting there giggling my ass off, man, because it shows you that it, it just gives you a clear picture of how wicked these people are. <laughs> you get a, a straight, clear picture of how wicked these people are, man. OK, it says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? If this man is not the wicked, who is? Because he's still running the earth. He's this motherfucker still sitting. He's sitting on nuclear weapons right now. And got the whole entire planet afraid, man. And it's not, like I said, it's not just them. It's the so-called white people in Russia. Now the so-called white people here in America are supplying the so-called white people in Ukraine with weapons. You see? All your NATO nations, your EU nations, all your, Euro your so-called Europeans, those are the ones that's running the earth, man. They're the ones with the... You think that a Negro, Hispanic... Or a Native American can say, hey, you know what? We're going to test a bomb today. We're going to just shoot a fucking, we're going to shoot five of them into the, the, the heavens. And we're just going to let them explode and see what they do. You think that, 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 that we have some power? You, so you know it's not us. They're the ones that's giving out the sanctions. They're the ones that's saying, you can't do this, you can't do that. And then they're running around in the name of NATO trying to run every goddamn body now. And Russia is not going for it. And you're on the tink, you're, you're, you're right on the, the brink of nuclear war, World War III, because it's going to come. Why? Because these people are proud as hell. And, and it's just time. Their kingdom is, is, is falling. It's, 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 this place needs new management. I say it all the time, man. If the so-called white man is running this planet for another three, four, five years, nothing will survive, man. And when it comes straight down to this nuclear fallout, Nothing is going to survive, <laughs> you know, other than the elect and, and, and the people that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai wants to survive. The, the elite that are going to be stashed out in their bunker somewhere that's far from America. They ain't going to want no parts of America. They, they not. They, they, the elite, the very, very wealthy, they're not here. It's a whole lot of people, man, that's moved out of this country, man. They're going to bought them some bunkers up in a whole nother country, 18 to 20 stories underneath the ground. So in the meanwhile... They don't care nothing about their people. Their people are going to just get fucking fried, right? But this is the stuff that they're into. And this is an example of this Job 9 and 24. Again, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Who's running the earth? And it's, and it's asking a rhetorical question. If not, where and who is he? And then he covered the faces of the judges thereof. Because we always go into that. The main face, the main judge's face that he covered was was the Lord, Yahweh, the Father. And what do you think they're trying to do? What, they're trying to blow the Lord up? <laughs> what are you trying? <laughs> the Lord is just sitting there laughing, man. That's a matter of fact, that's Psalms um, chapter 2 going off into that, man. With all these kings, man, that's, and, and, and that's going to try and come up against the Lord. And they're going to, he's going to, he said he's going to laugh at them, man, and have them in derision. But see, that's that's the like I said, that's the main judge's face that they covered. The Lord, they made him look, painted him, and made him look like a white guy. Got everybody in the world thinking that the Lord is some white guy. Then the secondary judge, our our Lord, our Savior, our King, 
Yahweh Shai, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus, which is not a damn white man, they painted him and made him look like a white man. He's the main judge. He's the secondary main judge. So they got the whole entire world believing that they're God. And that you should worship them. And they've accomplished that all in the name of sweet white baby Jesus, man. <laughs> like for real, matter of fact. Let me go to the Psalms, though. Verse 1, it says, Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us because they don't want nothing to do with the Lord. See, they use the Bible to get what they want. Now they have control of the people and they've gotten all this power. They don't need the Bible no more. They just going to force what they want to force on you now. And there's nothing you can do about it. See, they pull stuff like this and nobody has no say. That's how you know that they're wicked. They're the ones that they have that much power where people might say something. They don't give a shit what you say. There's nothing you can do about it. You're not going to stop me is their attitude. Verse four says, he that sitteth in the heavens, and it's the Lord, man. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. Lord, laughing at these clowns, man. The Lord shall have them in derision, which means he's going to poke fun at them. And then he's going to get busy. It says, and then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure, man. <laughs> so Esau got something coming for him. And they need it, they need it man. And we just, we're the, we're the saints. And I'm praying that I'm a part of that. We're just patiently waiting, man. Faithfully and patiently waiting, man, for these, these clowns to go into captivity and go into change, man. Because that's what's going to happen to them. Let me see here. Because they're just talking about, I want to see, look, I, I'm just trying to get an idea as to why they done it. Okay, so here you go again. Here goes some more Edomites. The test almost certainly a response to similar Soviet tests. Who you think is in the so those are white people too, so-called white people too. Those are Edomites. So see, it's them. They just in a different continent. And, and, and you know, they got a bunch of family infighting right now. America, so-called white people in America, and so-called white people in Russia, so-called white people in Ukraine, and all these. They're all the same people. Don't let the continent fool you. <laughs> they're just in fighting. They're just having a family fight right now. It says, we're designed in part to test the effect of the Earth's magnetic field. So that's your, that was your, that was your, your reasoning? To test the Earth's magnetic field? That you would have radiation falling to the ground and fucking everybody up? Insane, man. And whether nuclear explosions in space could be weaponized against the Soviets. See that? They found, to their surprise, that it was effective at shutting down several satellites, including one launched the day after the test that were hit with the higher than expected levels of radiation. So where the fuck do you think that radiation went to? You don't think that it landed in the oceans? Flowed on up? Tidal waves bringing it on along with the wind? Because, you know, the, the scriptures talks about the rivers, matter of fact, let me let me just go into it real quick. In Proverbs. Because, see, the wind has a circuit. The waters have a circuit. Everything rolls basically in a circle, so to speak. Let me see. Oh, is that where it's at? Uh, let me see. Is it chapter 2? No, it's Ecclesiastes, Salaki. My bad on that. Let's go to Ecclesiastes chapter 1. I'll start from verse 4. Ecclesiastes 1 and 4. One generation passes away. Now, this is a cycle right here. One generation passes away, and another generation cometh, but the earth abideth forever. The sun also ariseth. And the sun goeth down and hasten it to his place where he arose. See, there, there's a circuit to that. The wind is what I wanted to get the point of. The wind goeth toward the south and turneth about unto the north. It whirleth about continually and the wind returneth again according to his circuits. So you don't think that the wind blew that radiation around and brought it to certain regions. And, and, and ain't no telling could be all over the world, all over the globe. 
You don't think that them, them, them nuclear bomb tests that they're doing, that that shit is not hitting the air and, and, and that it's not exposing, you know, um, hitting the waters, hitting the fish, hitting the animals, things that we eat, things, you know, you don't, you don't think that that's doing that. But you think the so-called white man care about that? He don't care. He's destructive, man. That's that, he's just really doing his part. Verse seven, all the rivers run into the sea, yet the sea is not full until the place from whence the rivers come, thither they return again. See that? So there's a circuit to this thing, man. You see? Because what you're going to see, let me see here. Now, the so-called white man, they call them oceans. But what you'll see is the word ocean is not even in the scriptures nowhere. They're seas, basically. You know, rivers come from them and flow into them and, and, turn, and do that circuit, man. But in the meanwhile, you have to know that that fall... That shit that came back down, you know, eventually it, it rained. And, and these people, I just put up a posted a video from the, um, the brother GMS on um, Vegas sit downs. He had a video up of them just admitting to they want to be in control of the weather by 2025. And they're creating rain. And, 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 and they, they went off into the chemtrails. And I think they call something else calm trails or something like that. But in the meanwhile, it's no secret that the, that the U.S. government basically is at the forefront of fucking with the, the, the weather, man. So these people must be put down. Let's see what else they said. And I'm not going to keep it long, but you can see this is just silly as hell. It says they found to their surprise that it was effective at shutting down several satellites. Of course it's going to do that. Hell, you at a, 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 a million tons, a million point four tons of TNT. Get the Come on, man. That's enough to blow up. Man. These people got to be taken out of power. Some electronic and electrical systems in the Hawaiian Islands, 4, 1,400 kilometers distance, were affected. Of course it was, causing the failure of street lighting systems, tripping of circuit breakers, triggering burglar, burglar alarms, and damage to the telecommunication relay facility. And you know it had to have been doing something more than that. And they're not going to get off into health um, benefits, man, more than likely. It says, what is significant about the EMP attack is that one of the few high altitude nuclear detonations can produce EMP effects that can potentially disrupt or damage elect electronic and electrical systems over much of the United States, virtually simultaneously. Yeah, because they got this old ass system. See, the old ass dinosaur, man. Everybody is upgrading their stuff except for these clowns. And that's why they're going to be destroyed, man. Because their pri the, the, the pride is through the roof. They're prideful. And, and, and they're not keeping up with the times. These other countries are surpassing them, man, by leaps and bounds. The effects of the test view in the rainbow parties below lasted longer than the pretty aurora. An artificial radiation belt was created by the blast with levels higher than the naturally occurring Van Allen belts that lasted for several years. See, there you have it. So... No, just wanted to just put it out there. And then when you go into the comments, right? These so-called white people be in these comments talking about government this and government that. Government, the government done this and our government done that. No, it's you Edomites. It's you so-called white people. <laughs> You're in control of the government. It's your people. Stop it with the government shit. Your government just done left you out on, 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 on a ticket. <laughs> That's all that it is. You know, but then with your people, that's your race of people that's in charge of the earth where to the point where they can detonate five fucking nuclear bombs in, in a row and, and just for for kicks and giggles, man. Just to just see if the magnetic field like motherfucker, what you come on, man. Just disruptive, man. Destructive and disruptive. And the Lord is going to come through, man, and, and take these people out of power. And it's hey, it's getting there. It's getting there. And we applaud the destruction of this place. We, we're applauding that, man. And this was in 1962. Just think about how many more. These people testing bombs and missiles every day. They're testing something, man. You got North Korea, they in on the game now. You got China, they in on it. See, everybody else, they had to get them a gun too. Because they knew that if we don't get a gun like these so-called white people got, they're going to come over here and take all our shit. So we got to have something to fight them with. That's the reason why these other nations, because generally these other nations, they have a sense of, look, nature, trees, grass, you know, 
it, it, you need you need those things. The so-called white man, he don't give a shit. He got to breathe the same air that everybody else got to breathe. But in the meanwhile, he's destructive as hell and tearing up the planet, man. So, you know, this guy just don't care. <laughs> 60, 60 years ago, the U.S. exploded a nuclear bomb in outer space. Come on, man. And, and, and this point right here, it, it says the crowd. Who you think that crowd was in 1962? There might have been a few niggas there. Who knows? Might have been. Might have been one or two. But you best believe it was people that flocked from all over the 50 states of America that went to Hawaii just to watch that, man. And it just reminds me of when they looking up in, you know, looking up in the sky, laughing and giggling and shit with a nigga hanging there burning or something, man, in a tree. That's how they used to get down. Well, let's see if they're going to be if they're going to be looking up when the Lord comes, when the Lord comes in them chariots. Let's see how they're going to be looking up then, because they asses is going to be, be trying to find somewhere to climb into a damn hole to climb into to, to, to get the hell away. They ain't going to be standing out there trying to see when the Lord comes. You best believe that. So with that, I pretty the lesson was edifying, man. Quam your shalom.